Hello everybody. I believe it's the 25th today. Um, you guys, we're, we're really into this, like the uh, evil, the wickedness. And that's why it says test all spirits. And a lot of them, what you're going to be seeing, the world that's in them, the uh, dark spirits. These are demons and stuff, okay? Devils and demons. There's lots of them. We've been separated. Um, and who can these people be and what are they? Let me tell you something. We're in the time now where if the word is not abiding in you, it says it clearly in uh, John. Um, it's six, uh, John uh, 15, 6. That uh, you're like a branch and you're cast into the fire. Okay, there's a reason why you run into a lot of people and say, yeah, it looks like the time, but I don't have time to read the Word of God. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just too busy. I've got too many other things going on, you know, and they're not wanting to read it. They're not studying it, and they'll, they'll tell you they're not. Not only are they not, they're muzzled. They're, they're not speaking. They're not sharing. They never have all these years. They haven't been. That's why it says many were called, but few were chosen. And uh, everybody's being separated, you guys. We're all being separated. Uh, this is where we want to be separated, you guys. Uh, another thing, we got to be reading. The word of God. What does it say? It says when they left, they came back but found it empty. And seven other spirits worse than the first came in. Seven other spirits worse than the first entered in. Because they found it empty. In other words, you guys, this is why we get the word of God in us. This is why I'm telling people you got to read it. You got to uh, you got to be bathing in it. You got to be washing yourselves this is the blood of the Lamb, you know, and uh, this is a calling that we all have, and they're not doing it, okay, and they're, you know, once a week, man, you know, um, if you're the shepherd of a big church, but it says in scriptures that they're not gonna, they're gonna want the ears tickled, they're gonna want to be told all these things, you know, they're gonna want this, so they can get back to their, uh, their life, and they, and they want to feel that's enough, you know. That's the gospel made simple. And it doesn't say that. That you may open your mouth and make known the mystery of the gospel. You know, this is very serious. And that's in the uh, full armor of God. When you're putting in Ephesians 6, when you're putting the full armor of God, 10 through 20, that, that's a very serious thing. That I may open my mouth and make known the mystery of the gospel. That's verse 19. And then here you're hearing people saying, that's the gospel made simple. You guys, these are spirits that are operating in the children of disobedience. You know, and uh, you can't get anybody to do nothing anymore without it, without it being phenomenal. They won't even talk to you unless they can make a, a whole lot of money. It's pretty bad. It's real bad. Yeah, but this is the time we're in. I had a dream like that too, seeing everybody everywhere this is why they're pumping money into a broken vessel. All right? This vessel is not holding water. It's not holding water. But they're pumping it into it even though it's not going to hold water. Okay, the money. It's a, it's a broke nation. God's broken it. Okay, when you turn away from God, when you, uh, it's all in scripture, man. People falling away. They've literally fallen away, and uh, they don't even know it, you know? And the Word tells you why. They love to have it this way. They love to have it so. And these spirits are constantly working against us. Um, at night, sometimes the things that you see, you know, they come at you with things like that. You know, like, uh, like if you ever smoked marijuana or if you ever drank... They'll come at you with different things. They're constantly trying you, trying you, trying to find a weak area, whatever it might be, you know, but that's why in the evenings, a lot of times we're getting attacks like that. And they focus more on those that are out there trying to warn people and talking a lot, you know, 
but not only that you guys if you're not having these attacks and you do or you are aware and you're staying close great that's great you know I come across this a lot though I had that time when we were doing that live I went over there to that restaurant to grab me a salad or something to bring back to the room and uh, I was witnessing over there to people and then when I came back to the room they were all over me man spirits all over the place they weren't there before and then when I left and came back they were all over me and I probably got them from over at that restaurant and that's what they do you know you guys we're in uh, spiritual warfare here man and everybody needs to pray pray and stay in the word read the word uh, from Genesis to Revelation from the beginning to the end the Alpha the Omega you know we have to be in it constantly man and uh don't grieve the Holy Spirit where you've been sealed till the day of redemption, man. And that's what they're doing. They're constantly trying. Yeah, you know, last night I had a dream where I seen like like military people, man, that were you know, they were they lost a lot of body parts. Like their arms and their legs. And then there were these physicians coming in. Physicians. And then I seen like where one of them was throwing water in his mouth, but it was coming out bloody, bloody, you know. And uh, but these physicians were coming in and trying to give them artificial legs and arms and stuff like that, you know, to where they could, you know. And then I seen this one guy; part of his face was missing, and he was taking rocks and just hitting his head with it. You know, it was just crazy stuff like that. It's hard to understand everything, man. Uh, that you guys were at the end of this. Remember, when you go to sleep at night, when you say your uh, prayer, uh, putting on the armor of God, and uh, but always do this in Christ's might and His power, and uh, glorify the Father and the Son, man. They hate that. They don't want you doing that. They want you to be as weak and as limbo as possible. But be be glorifying the Father like you're always coming into his presence. You know, and, and ask him by by Christ's power and might, because he overcame these. And we're quickened in with him. So being quickened in with him and he overcame these things, we we rest in him. You know, that's that's our hope. Blessed are those whose hope is the Lord. You know, while well, these other people, you know, you can't get them to do it. You know, they, to cut straight out, tell you, they don't have time. You know, and then they said they knew the time. You know, I talked to this one grandmother who's raising her teenage uh, granddaughter, you know. And she just <laughs> sat out, flat out told me, oh, well, they gave her a bunch of homeschool work to do. And we don't have time to read you know, it sounds really good, you know, reading the book of Ruth sounds good, but we, she just doesn't have time with the homeschool work. I'm thinking about, that was the last time I've seen her. Last time. There's no point in talking anymore. But this is where it is. A lot of them will even lead you on and smile, you know, and, you know, especially if they're going to, you know, be playing you to get more and more and more and more until you get to that point where, you know, you start really clamping down on it, you know, and they're not. They're not doing it. You know, and there's a lot of this going on, you guys. We're in the day of evil, and uh, be ready. I was told to sit down and buckle up, and I believe this is what's getting ready to happen. I think this place is getting ready to uh, cut loose, and it's going to be phenomenal. It's going to be phenomenal. Uh, but my message is to you to get into the word, man. To stay in prayer. When you pray to God, uh, it's like you got to come into his presence. You have to believe, man. And then come into his presence and then pray and ask him um, to uh, help you, to guide you, to open your mind. And then believe that you've received that and leave, okay? And if there's things that are overwhelming with you, you have to leave it there with him and believe it, but leave it there. And when you walk away, don't pick it back up and throw it, 
throw it on your shoulders. Those are the burdens. Don't do that, you know? Leave them right there. When you go and you pray and you ask him something, leave the burdens there, you know? Don't carry them anymore. We're not supposed to carry them, the burdens, you know? I can see mules or donkeys or something like that carrying backpack loads. But sheep, I've uh, never heard of that. Never heard of sheep carrying burdens and stuff like that, or backpacks and stuff like that. We're not supposed to be doing these things. There's a lot of things out there, you guys. Uh, the enemy's trying to... See, all these people rushing, trying to make their money really quick, what they're doing. I had a dream. It's for nothing. It's for nothing. All this is about to come crashing down. And we're going to be here to see it. But don't be a fearful. Rest and trust in the Lord. You know, just rest in the Lord. The enemy's going to come in and try to do all kinds of things, you know, to get you to do anything but that. You know, and leave those burdens there. You know, just leave them there and you'll be all right. You know, that's the problem. People want to take those burdens back. They go down there to pray and get in the presence of God, then pray, and then they want to walk away and still carry those burdens. You know, don't. Let them be. Let them go. And, uh, yeah, it's like I was waiting on a guy to call last night. He called, he called, he texted me at about 2.30 in the afternoon. Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to get with you, man. Uh, later on, it'll be this evening. I'll get with you. And then around six o'clock, he, oh, I'm just now getting home. Let me grab a bite to eat. And then I'll be getting right back with you, man. And then, you know, eight o'clock at night, I'm like, well, you know what? I texted him. I said, why don't we try for another time? I said, because I'm not going to sit up all night waiting for you. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to sit up all night waiting to see if, if you're going to even call. You know, because it went from 2 o'clock in the afternoon to uh, 8 o'clock at night. You know? And the last time he texted me was at 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock in the evening. And then he said he was going to grab a bite to eat. And then two hours went by and I still hadn't heard. I said, I'm going to lay down. I'm going to rest. And that's what I told him. I'm going to rest. And I didn't hear back from him. You know, but that's what they do. You know, these are people that are all... You know, I was in business. I never called anybody after uh, 5, 36 o'clock in the evening. I never called nobody that late. And I was in business a long time, man. Well over 20 years. Well over 20 years. 14 years just this last time. But even before that, you know. But this is the world we're in today. And these people are blind. They're blind. And they're very much of the world. And, uh... It's just going to get a lot worse than everything that they're doing right now. They're just super busy. Last time I see this guy said that he he hadn't had taken a day off in 40 days. You hear that number, 40? It's exactly what he said. Me and my guys, we ain't had a day off in over 40 days, man. We're busy, you know? And then, you know, the times we're living in, you know? I think it would be a good idea to get busy uh, and get some understanding about the truth, what's really going on, but they're not. And they're going right back at it, full blast, doing what they vote, what they do. You know, and this is where their heart is. It's really not in God. It's not in Christ. You know, that's why it says, know that you've been bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your bodies, in your vessels. You've been bought with a price, man. And we got to remember, we belong now to Christ, to God. He redeemed us back to the Father. You know, and we know God's right now, he's doing all this. He's taking it all apart. I'm going to come on live here in a little while, you guys, and I'll be uploading a video, okay? Or coming on live, and we're going to be reading some scriptures as well. But uh, we got to dedicate our time to the Lord. You know, that's why we have an understanding that the world can't receive. You know, they can't receive it, no matter what we say, because they got that other spirits working on them. You know, and uh, it's really doing a number on them. No matter what we say, they won't do it. You know, they got to come to Christ, man, that he can heal them, that he can heal them. We can't. We can sit there and try to tell them and tell them and tell them and tell them. And, you know, and they know, oh, yeah, I can see it, man. Oh, but, you know, the cares of this life, man. Uh, you know, it's coming to an end here, man. 
Stay strong, you guys. God bless you in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ.